In this first tutorial, we'll be looking at how you can use Warwick's Q to properly follow enemies when they flash a dash, allowing you to satiate the wolf's blood hunt. As this is my first League educational video, please let me in the comments what you'd like to see done differently, and what you might like to see in the future. Also don't forget to hit that like button, or sadly the dislike button, comment and subscribe. Alright, here we go. Essentially, you have three possible interactions with the Warwick Q. We'll go through each one, and then investigate when you might like to use one over the other. The first option is a simple bite action where he sticks his head out and Warwick's body doesn't travel any distance. This acts similar to any point and click ability and activates when you're in range to bite. The damage is done and Warwick heals for a portion of that damage. The second variation which we'll look at is the full Q where you follow through and come out on the other side of the champion. This is what you most commonly see when someone flashes or dashes or even just stands still so you can get that last auto attack in before they escape. Finally we have the 50% travel Q. This means that you can cue a champion as if you're going to go all the way through him, but instead you let go and travel to the center of that champion, which is essentially its current position. Now let's consider the actual animation. There is an actuation distance from which you can press the cue in order to have your chosen effect take place. The key decider in which of the three effects you have is really down to how long you hold down the cue button. In addition to the circular radius for your activation window, it also shows you a vertical rectangle that goes through the target to indicate the maximum distance you can travel with your Q. If you let go prior to the maximum length of the Q, after initiating your bite sequence, Warwick will let go. The time between releasing the Q for a half Q or a full Q is actually quite narrow, so that takes a bit of practice. As I have every ability on Quickcast, pressing Q when I'm slightly outside of the range can lead to a sort of lunging animation towards the target as soon as I'm within that range. It takes Warwick a little bit of time to come out of the full animation, so if an auto attack after your Q follow through is imperative to you securing the curl, it's probably best not to hold down that Q button too long. However, if your entire goal is simply to follow through a wall of the flash, it's really important that you do actually hold down that Q button because otherwise you will not follow. You can see here in the example for me as Warwick following through a Jarvan's EQ combo, I had to hold down the Q button for as long as possible. Conversely, you can see in this mid lane gank, I stick with Lux through a flash, but I let go as it finishes. This means I'm at the center of her character model as she comes out of flash, allowing me time to hit two autos and get the kill before she ends up under tower where it might have been a bit more dangerous for me to dive. The key to these Q timings really is practice. With auto cooldown refresh active in the practice tool, you can set up three enemy dummies and attempt to complete a relay of six Qs in a row without missing one. Let's see that again. Thanks for watching, I hope this helps you hunt more successfully, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.